Hi, this is Dan Nazania. I'm basically going to talk about Rainbow Run Forest. Apparently, there's been some issues um, that I've been actually having with the Facebook uh, Facebook group. Um, I actually joined the group um, a while ago um, because I had always been interested in. Uh, in the same event, um, but it never really, really captured my interest until recently this year. Um, because I've always um, felt attracted to it um, since I heard it originally, and um, even when I was in South Africa. Um, about this. Um, um, Rainbow's Ham incident where the, um, the spacecraft actually landed in the forest and um, as well kind of like to say with nukes and all that and scaring me foreheads and things like that and um, I've actually met uh, and um, made friends with one of the people um, um, who were one of the soldiers in this incident and um, Let's go to the point that um, sometime in this year, actually um, quite recently, uh, maybe quite soon actually, that I'm, I'm going to make a field trip um, to the, the town. So um, I'm going to open that over there. So this is uh, the landing site. Um, so that and it's near Oxford and all that. And so um and there and there's a lighthouse. So it's pretty far from the lighthouse. Um the reason why um the um the why why the light the the, the land is the lighthouse are kind of like marked with a dot because some people try and dismiss um um the um um, the spacecraft um, has been the lighthouse. But, uh, as you can see, it's quite a distance from there to there. So, this incident actually happened. This is just certain things that I've actually collected, kind of have the code actually. I am an artist, um, and I can, you know, pick certain things and images, and um, just the layer of certain art images, which just somehow, or rather, deja vu in a sense. Um, um, but sometimes, you know, with the way the um, universe and in, in infinity works, it opens like a fractal, and um, you often get like a feedback uh, in a sense, and um, there's the extraterrestrial, and, and this is like what one of the symbols that were um, on the incident coming near to Earth. And this is this is a, a picture from the uh, Rainy Movement, uh, one of the older books, um, um, The True Face of God. Uh, uh, I don't even like that. To be honest, because um, um, there's no, because I'm atheist, and um, so I basically um, say that the uh, extraterrestrials, the God is uh, misinterpreted word for uh, extraterrestrial universe and, and much things. So, um, so. Um, Oh, actually, I feel bad, but, but um, I'm just doing this video as naturally as possible because I've just had sort of like an incident where um, my my artwork um, kind of got deleted, and um, 
and I've actually been blocked from Facebook from accessing my main account um, for 30 days. And I've always been, and I've been wondering and confused to, to see well, what, who the hell done it and why. Um, because they have reported my artwork has been a faithful. Um, this is one of my, this is a latest artwork that I've you know, um, this is a, the painting that I was done, had done drawn originally. And the extraterrestrial and the slugs that has the, uh, these are actually called triangle slugs. Now the fascinating thing is, um, they look more like a, a space bar. Uh, these slugs uh, um, get me tattooed on the internet, which is actually evident in the sense that um, the extraterrestrials um, by engineered life on this planet. Uh, you know him, if you can call them that, uh, that's what uh, the Rayleigh movement uh, mentions, which is actually, um, you know, original Hebrew word for a star person. It's not a specific race or um, anything like that because it basically means those, it means those that come from the stars. Um, which in direct English is a star person, which is very common um, among the star seed community. Um, which is a more respectful word um, than actually extraterrestrial. The extraterrestrial is more a scientific word means non-terrestrial, um, not um, um, indigenous um, to this planet, even though they would have, um, they would share a, a common genome, uh, which is human genome, which is actually quite fascinating, which this kind of came out with the um, the Cirrus uh, research project of the little tiny humanoid. Um, so this kind of gives evidence that the, the human genome is not only localized on this planet, but it extends vastly, which also exists in the wild signal. So yeah, it is pretty um, interesting. There's just some symbols that I put on the painting, and there as well, and there as well. Now this is the um, the um, the private or hidden group, right? Um, I had actually joined this group a while ago um, on my main account, and um, um, I met uh, Jim. Henderson. Uh, he was the one who actually got uh, um, sort of like this binary code and he's managed to lock down the symbols that were in the space book, which he had seen. Um, now, there's been an incident where, I don't know, somehow one of them found my, well, basically a friend told me, I'm actually going by word of mouth. I clearly saw that um, the friend saw on the page that um, um, I uh, that, um, that they found my artwork offensive, which is rather mind-boggling to me because I originally contacted Jim. Um, um, I contacted him and also let him know that I'm wanting to go down. And visit Reynolds Ham and go to the um, the sites um, and see what's happening. Now, why do I want to go to the site? Um, this is another uh, question. But, um, quite recently, I had well, basically, the incident happened in 1980, right? And this is around right about Christmas time, to about the 28th. 28 and the extractors would stop people coming like left on the 29th of the, um, this incident. And um, it, is, it is a quite a controversial um, subject. Um, and it is actually evident that a spacecraft did land. Um, 
it actually is controversial to the radio movement as well. And um, because they say they should just burn down them because of the airspace and all that. But it's an oxymoron in the sense because um, I myself had an extraterrestrial land um, in my in the opposite open field where I used to live in um, Tanzini, that's when I lived in the Nanya. And Nanya landed, walked through the wall, came into my bedroom. So, and I have footprints of her feet, and there was also a mark to the left. But it wasn't a triangle like the um, Rainbows and Forest incident, but it was actually a shape of a hexagon. Um, which actually describes the symbol of infinity, the power of light, and all that. So that's it. So I'm very interested because, you know, as you know, I know myself to be an international hybrid, and I do have evidence to support that. Um, it's quite recently I posted today a, a thing. On the um, the thing about um, on my blog, so um, now this this is the, one of my uh, extraterrestrial photographs, um, spacecraft which I had taken when I was in Cuba, shall we? Um, th what is also found is quite a bit funny, but where where. I had posted a thing about the allies of humanity uh, and the anti extraterrestrial agenda. And soon after I posted that, this is when actually all this crap started, where um, I got suspended from Facebook for 30 days. And I, I, would, I didn't realize, I didn't know that my friend said um, it linked. Um, to this page, but um, I I am just so mind boggled because I actually haven't got any private message from uh, Jim um, in regards to say you know um, um, you know what found your artwork painted with nothing or sort of sort like that. This is a so, um, basically, um, and it's quite ironic that I actually brought this um, thing, what the fuck is bad, uh, all about, because to me, um, it's not really Jim, it's more John, actually, um, would I uh, assume that is I'm having a problem with, because I've actually communicated with Jim, and... He mentioned that because I said I, I have the urges to go down to Windows and Forest and see what actually happened. But my friend on the other hand, um, I'll put it back. Yeah, this is what I, I get on my main account. I'm actually blocked from the page. Um, this is okay. Um, you know, I should actually put these pictures in bloody order, but you know, I'm just so stressed out and uh, mind boggled about this whole thing, um, and I'm trying to make sense of it. So, really, hey, this is basically says Jim. He says Jim, he doesn't um, threaten me for posting uh, Rail's website. He's a mutual friend of mine, and. And he told me that I must, um, uh, you know, reject my friend. I know I don't like internet drama. I, I really don't. Um, and then the, I responded, "Is it the end of the Boris chap? Because you know, I've I've just admitted because I would like to go there and see what happens when I go. Because um, I had I've got strong urges. I was lying on my bed the one night and I just had these flashes that I was um, in the spacecraft looking at uh, these soldiers. Um, it, it was quite a, a phenomenal thing. 
I was like looking and I just saw the out as if I was the extraterrestrial. Um, this is like really stunning um, experience and um, I don't know if they're flash memories or they were downloaded and soon after that um, I got it's a time of the of nightmare of food poisoned actually strange enough as well I was food poisoned that night and I I got when I got terribly sick and um, I don't know if the food poisoning actually triggered this memory whatever of but it apparently that happened as if I was in the spacecraft uh, coming out of the spacecraft um, and then just looking at the soldiers who were actually pretty tall actually um, and then uh, there was a forest and I thought gee this, this is this is this is the rain of this is the forest rain of the forest uh, 1980 because um, I'm actually born in, in August uh, the 4th and that is actually done exactly nine months to the time of conceived. And when my parents conceived me, they spoke of, you know, bright lights. Um, and as well, uh, before I left England and also when I visited South Africa, there was a UFO, a large casserole type UFO, large one, um, like this. Similar to this, not exactly like it, but similar. To try and get it there, 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 there like, like that, um, something like that. Twice, my mum thought she she saw the underneath it, but and she actually thought it was a full moon. Twice she saw it, and it was it was yellow and all that, and um. This is a pro that the, the Reynolds and Forest is probably a sort of like a little skull craft, smaller than this one, um, this saucer, um, because I'm, I'm not really um, to the shape. Um, it's obviously a one man thing, actually. Um, but there's more than more than one um, person that came out of it, which is very fascinating. It's like a freaking TARDIS, um, and this is the, the symbols that were on um, Egypt there, which is also a new thing. This was this was more likely. Um, um, is he mentioned as a black? Um, I would have to probably walk around more. So it is quite a unique design, but it also it it it, it, it contributes to the the streamlineness of the regular um, saucer over there. Is it the regular saucer? Because I've seen one like that. And I've actually touched it. And um, was on the air for the one this was when I was in the shower. It was actually cloaked and it was flying above me and I touched it. And as I touched it, the, the cloak kind of like dissipated. And it was like exactly like that. And then it kind of recloaked again. And um, I thought it all it was um, um, there, but then it shot off. And I saw like the shots, it actually flew away while still being cloaked and then in the distance it said went up, up like that. So, yeah, um, this is basically the, the thing um, and I found it quite recently, I'm actually playing around my face, it was in my exercise from my hybrid. You can see very much my hybrid features um, in my face. Uh, this is even my my banner on my website. It has the same triangular symbol. 
which is very interesting, which also is the, the three dots of the matrix symbol. Um, this is the what I have decided the way where that the play is. This is where Nananya lives. And this is um, by the Rhine Nebula. There's a planet there. Um, and then there's this other planet there. Somewhere around here. Um, so if we could actually. Uh, is just another planet there somewhere. Um, then. Is there this 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 comment as well also um, appeared on my um, Tumblr uh, blog page um, at the time I've been having this sort of uh, drama saying you can't fight yourself you aren't the cosmic elf but if I'm going to look at the whole galaxy like in the arse not really you just don't really know anything Bob so to be honest and you probably yourself still questioning things so this comment is like really sinister and I think it was linked with it um, some 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 either John or or this other chat friend of mine don't want me to go this is what this is how I want to feel so do not want him to go to Rangers and Forest. I don't know why, but um, apparently when I was googling, apparently there's something in the binary um, that talks about you know certain things that will actually smash the system, and which is one of the reasons why they were told to shut the fuck up. So, but the thing is. You can't keep things quiet, it's got to come out. It's got to come out and you can't suppress me. Sensuality uh, is very much part of um, cosmic culture. And if you can't accept that, you can, uh, and you're in with the topic of wanting to understand cosmic cultures and all of that, it's... Um, very much like shooting yourself in the foot, um, where you know you're looking for answers, but you can't get any more answers because the people that actually, you know, somehow have a, um, I don't know what it's saying, um, some kind of connection to it, even though they were there or myself, um, want to investigate, um. I'm not really interested in um, the. Um, I'm more interested in the land. I want to see the land. I want to. I want to feel the forest. That's more what I'm more interested in. The, uh, but it is good to hear the stories. Um, um, I think it's just just banning me from from the group like that just because some somebody found my out with a fence at it. I really, I really can't wrap my head around it. I can't, I can't, I can't. It, it blows my mind. This is uh, the Chinese way. Um, this is a uh, symbol of infinity. Oh, um, it has it, 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 basically it's a blueprint of the universe and infinity and beyond. This is done from crop circle. You can see that the main bricks fractal. Um, which actually uh, correlates with the fractal theory that exists on this planet. And that you know, there's no beginning, no end of infinity. And then there's the spin, the swastika, and the thunder, the, which is written as the structure and arrangement of the attraction and repulsion forces of uh, things, which gives them geometry. So, yeah, this is, this is one of my paintings as well. Um, which has correlates to that crop circle, the code crop circle, and I call this the third code because I think the first code was done by a rational artist and the second code was done by a terrestrial, the crop circle, and there's a third um, code done by a hybrid, which is me, um, 
and I, I recommend kind of linking them all together. Uh, I do have a, a page on my website about it. You can see how I kind of loosely linked um, the different things. Um, this is the uh, renders of Reynolds and Forest. Um, symbols and how you get the different text there. And the ladies, very much like I mentioned over there. Um, actually, it was James Penniston that he got down. Yeah, I think it was Jim that got the binary. So, there we go, there's a couple of them there. There's a matching symbol in the center, two dots. Uh, this symbol over here is also used in the series project. Um, for contact, so the extra tracers are the one needed to make contact with people. The one people to welcome the extra tracers. Um, the way I mean, they want to build an embassy. And let's just, but the thing is, with red tape, um, uh, red tape with uh, airspace and all that, which is very controversial with the landing and all that, but sometimes you, you got it push the limit, you go to break the barrier. And um, this is what people don't realise that, you know, I've got a saying. Um I've got a saying that says uh a book may explain the universe, but it does not describe the entire universe. It means the entire universe can be put in a book. But uh but a universe has many books because um, there's different planets and there's different societies and different peoples and wrote all the different books and all that. So it's quite, that's, that's what a saying I brought out. Um, and um, try not to bother, uh, be stuck in a book. It's a good reference, um, but to follow the book and make the book as the universe, uh, that's when you know you bound to get stuck in a never ending loop. So, um, the best thing is to use the animal, animal, use the analogy where uh, the book. The universe has many books, but the universe cannot fit in one book. So, yeah. Well, I'm talking about literature wise, because when you start thinking about in terms of atoms and <laughs> things like that, and the concept uh, of infinity, yes, a, un a book may contain two universes. You know, going small and small and small and small and small. You know, that, that, you know, as you shrink and shrink and shrink and speed down and shrink and shrink. Uh, it, it's, you can go on and on and on and on. And sometimes it's fun to do that when you meditate. It's like, it's like going through like, like on, um, um, Stargate when you're going through the wormhole. That's kind of like, but you just construct yourself moving in a linear position, you're moving in or out like that. Um, this is kind of a picture which I've done. Um, you know, as I said, maybe you can see the, the, the shape of my um, eyes. Um, I basically kind of look black, and I end up looking like um, that. So, and I found a pretty interesting um, here that is the you know I mentioned with the slabs earlier. Um I bet I mentioned there we go. There I don't know, but there's also kind of like uh, expressed to me expresses the um, the geometry of um, the, the symbol. There was on the space board in the end of the and when you think when you think about it, uh, you over you, you 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 take one and you overlap it, and um, you actually get 
a triangle up and a triangle below, and it does not overlap, and it kind of forms like a hexagon thing as well. So, you would just basically do some more infinity. This is also kind of a concept where often when people come in, in extraterrestrials, they see the grey bit, and they don't see the, the human part. Um, this is one of the arts I think I've posted on my page. Um, how I kind of um, feel things and receive things telepathically, or sense things telepathically more than receive. Um, that that looks very similar to that. Basically, I did, did a bit of a look up where someone's done a whole thing that's a, a, a um, um, sort of like a, a satellite that's been put in orbit around it, and it's all very successful, and it goes around. And, uh, I think that actually is um, monitoring the experiment of the, uh, the design of life on Earth. And it also can be like an arc, um, in a sense, uh, and genetic codes and things that get stored in. I wouldn't be surprised that's just got like a whole database of genetic codes uh, in there. So, yeah, I don't know if that's just my photo. And there's basically just some um, extraterrestrial scripts that are uh, uh, you know, these symbols are quite uh, not really that common, but they, uh, this one, um, they, they do appear in the Roswell text. Um, as well. They're basically, I ironically actually wrote this and said, what the fuck is done? Um, the term I never understand it. It never made any sense, even when encountering it. It's supposed to be all in aid of security and integrity. But the thing is, it, it, it doesn't. What I've experienced didn't really um, go for that. It's more like, um, more like. Um, just because I'm, you know, because I'm different, I'm odd. Um, it, it, it not, I'm not a norm in a sense. They're, they're feeling secure. Where the truth is, I'm not really, I'm not actually a threat. Well, I'm a peer, I may appear as a threat, but the reality is I'm not. So, what do I see from my perception, from my experiences? Because I encountered it often with, with, with people with regards to my gender issues and all that. Uh, I'm really out of the box and this frightens people. And often they try and throw me in the box and I can't look in the box. So what do I see? So, so what do I see from my perception uh, and experiences and what does it feel for me? Well for me it's nothing but the same thing, what I experienced in school days. In other words, it's because you're different, because I'm different. Well, I'm talking in more like third person in a sense, because it can cover not just me, but um, people who are similar in a similar situation, but different. And do not follow or do tell what you do. Yeah, I'm read that again. In other words, it's because you're different and do not follow or do what we tell you to do. You are no longer part of us because you are too weird. You do weird drawings of, of extraterrestrial wearing no clothes or having a, they have a different culture that's very sensual and calm where the culture on this planet it's all about violence and blowing each other up and killing each other and raping the planet because it's too weird, alien and freaky. And you did things 
I'm wrong. But which is actually different. There's nothing really wrong because I follow the things if I hurt no one. As long as you hurt no one, harm no one. And that's it. I don't I forgot to put in the exact words. Hurt hurt no one, harm no one. Yeah, that's what I do. There's nothing wrong being different and doing things differently and going about your life differently. But often it's because the way you are is not cool for the club. <laughs> Basically, the, the group was I think, like a club. Is a result in rejection or a ban. Basically, the word ban derived from the word curse. So every time you get rejection, or reject or ban, people actually put a curse on you. Which is quite true in a sense, even though looking at it not in a mystical sense, but you do when you get banned, you feel, you know, you feel hurt, you feel, you know, it hurts, it's, it, you feel like awful, depressed, um, that sort of thing. And that's basically giving you a negative vibration. Uh, but you, that's been tossed into you and often this negative vibration reflects around on other people and then you bring other people down and all this and all that and it causes a chain reaction so um so basically yeah there's like a, a curse in a logical sense that is a negative perception of who you are and what you are, that you are a bad and ugly person, a troublemaker, who you really truly were, you were just expressing your cosmic culture. And it's different to um, the local culture in this planet. Um, action. We go, when you go into the science of, of sensual meditation and that, it's not really alien with the way um, human beings on this planet and throughout the entire universe are on their makeup is all about. Uh, it's all of connecting. Uh, like, you know, how computers connect, like, uh, you know, with USB and the computer and all that. It, it, it's very, you know, similar but it's more on a biological level and a conscious level. Like 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 um coupling even when you look on a conscious level and you compare consciousness with software, it couples, it integrates, you know? So um the negative perception of that you are a bad ugly person which can also be referred to as an excommunication. But I was, which basically I was kind of excommunicated from the church because I was very really family in my life. Uh, and then bands for being from another um, because of my intercession. And he ends, ends this experience as a more point to the fact that religions are an illusion and God is a lie. And I think, I think that is to, uh, the thing that the, the belief in God is extremely strong and it kind of gives people reason to impose harsh laws and restrictions on people and some people cling on to them and, with the, and, that, and, and that would um, is what, what I'm trying to understand that little bits of phrases that um, I actually um, wondered why, you know, Jim and James have uh, to be quiet about their experience. And also because it's going to be stopped near the wars. Not necessarily true. 
but some people cling and don't actually. It's like the whole matrix of um, an analogy, can you see? Where they'll actually defend the system, the very imprisonment of them. Banning is also referred to censor and the word censorship. In fact, all my banning experts are, are based on the fact that I am not mobile, including Digital and Hintai. Digital art was mainly because, um, um, because I protest against the majority uh, of artistic mood. You know, when you go into the gallery, and it's really everybody was born nude and everybody dies in it. Unless they get buried in a hospital. But um, the experience I had in hentai farming was uh, really sort of like pack mentality, pack of wolves kind of thing. And especially at the time when they actually brought up the past, the incident that I had gone through um, coming out, um, going to coming out. Discovering the conspiracy, though I thought it was a conspiracy, and then came back about me being interested. And, um, and I needed to express this out just to come to terms with myself and, you know, get on with life. But people kind of said, couldn't, like this, this artist who had the group didn't want me to do that, and it just caused friction. An argument, and then it just it just grew bigger and bigger and bigger, and I was hurting and hurting, and um, I was even you know part of her um, a Twitter forum, and, um, and I just I was just wanting to express myself, and you know, and um, it it just went. Totally patient. She started calling me a stalker and this and that. And then I started to get, you know, a bit, I started to go a bit crazy. I wanted to kill myself. And, oh, it just, that was like two years ago. Uh, and, um, and uh, you know, people go through that and you can't. Um, Portray a portrait about that anybody because they're going through a rough time in real life and they're just because they're going through a rough time in real life they fuck up in their uh, internet life uh, because they can't manage their emotions and whatnot, etc. Uh, you, you can't uh, put a profile on people, but people do that. People do, and now it's, I'm battling to get my artwork out to be recognized um, because people have the assumption of me being a bad person. And it's exactly the same thing that's happening with this rental sport. They, 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 they say I'm bad because I do characters that uh, extraterrestrials and all that, because they know their clothes and they have a central culture and all that, and therefore it's bad. It is stupid, but that is just so dumb. <sighs> that was a rant. <laughs> um, in fact, uh, all my brand experience was based on the fact that I'm not normal. And um, more, and more the world of problem with the anti boundary and the corner shop was very similar, where you get lured into a trap. That you know, you 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 know, you're emotionally unstable. But some people make a trap and you fall into it. It's actually the same thing happened in demon art as well. Um, because um, because reports were it wasn't new. I thought the mature type. They were sort of like a clash between me and the admin, but everything was in balance. And as soon as I got it, um, it was tickets. And as regards to my gender issues and Chris Crash and all that. And I just went, <laughs> So, yeah. So, we get lured into a trap of um, legitimate minor events. 
current so-called assumption of harassment. From their side, they probably looks like harassment, but from my side it isn't. Um, so that's the thing. Uh, minor things, prior uh, to cover up pure hate, jealousy, and passion, just because you're too alien. Uh, this is this is when it all started. And I posted this up. Okay, please an urgent note if you subscribe to a channel of Daniel or Gloria, it's an ex William guy who promotes anti extraterrestrial agenda, starting a confession towards hybrid, star suit, and William. I love it's of humanity, the new message of God is a cult, and the test of religion, and we cite the Christianity, preparing extremism. And hate towards star people for the last card, false flag, taken by mentioned by Carol Rosen. Allies of humanity work together with the military industrial complex. Now, James and Jimmy, you should know that you're having problems with industrial military complex in trying to get your story. Why toss treat me like them when I'm basically on your side and wanting to help and then I would share the information what I experienced if I do go there what I can pick up what actually happened but uh, it could be that I could just you know go get off the face of the earth <laughs> it could act like say so long folks thanks for all the fish could be that I don't really know when I got it, but I want to know, you know I want to see what happens. I have a feeling something's going to happen, but I do not know what it is. It's a problem when you when you get these urges, you, you don't know what it is. Same thing will happen all the world. Rail. Um, you got the urge and you met the extraterrestrial. You didn't know what it is, you, you know. You don't, you don't know what to expect. I do not know what to expect. So, um, I got the urge to go there, and I'm going to go there, I, I might have just seen the light in the sky, saying, you know, you received our message, we are continue your thing. Or I could, well, they could actually land again, and I might be able to talk, they might talk to me. Or, they might take me up, and then, for a few days and bring me back. I do not know what to do. I've got all these wonderful, colourful assumptions what could happen. So, um, yeah, that's that what actually happened. Um, there's no training for me. No, really. I just don't understand that my artwork would all this stupid blue gold. Um, you know, um, so yeah, that's kind of it for the, uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be. That's about 48 minutes, so it's very long. Oh, and I've lost, I was actually. It's got dark, so you see my face. Oh, I know. So, yeah, so, um, much love it.